Smoky Mountains! <laughs> and you're watching Andy Parrish Outdoors. Well, good morning, everybody. I've been up for a little over half an hour. Um, the rain has not hit us yet. It's probably another hour or two off. Um, so we're gonna get up and get packed up and get breakfast and hopefully get all that done before the rain hits. It's pretty nice last night. Um, an occasional big gust of wind, but very warm, uh, surprisingly warm inside the hammock. Uh, I was getting readings, I think at three o'clock in the morning when I woke up, it was uh, about 65 degrees inside the hammock. So I was not expecting it to be that warm. Uh, very, very uh, pleasantly surprised. So we're supposed to get a ton of rain today. Um, the radar, uh, we still have cell signal here at uh, campsite 35. Um, it's about the only spot I've had cell signal um, since we pulled into the park. Um, all of a sudden we got it last night, so um, sitting by the fire, you know, we could check the, the weather forecast and send out a couple text messages and whatnot. So I don't anticipate um, that we're going to have it uh, that much longer, but who knows? Um, we're going to be climbing this uh, today. So the first part of today is about six miles of a climb uh, up to uh, the top of the ridge where the Appalachian Trail is along the top. So uh, hopefully we don't get any lightning or thunder as we're making that climb up over the ridge. Um, that'll make us probably scramble down the other side real quick. We'd like to kind of hang out on top for a little bit, um, check out uh, Mount Camera or the Lookout Tower and uh, just kind of enjoy the first few steps either one of us have taken on the Appalachian Trail. So we're excited about that. So. First night on trail with the app gear co, what do you think? Not enough of a test. Like no. 70 degrees and you know. <laughs> Ask for, me after it's like 50 and rain. Just for comfort though, like freedom to move in this thing, I love it. That's my favorite part of it. I don't feel like I'm restricted or like it's bunching up in my armpits or anything like that. or something. Like 12. Voila! trying to say. I don't know. Something I can put in the video. Something. 
It's time for breakfast. <laughs> We're not really time for breakfast. Coffee and breakfast. <clears throat> Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, here we go. Morning, everybody. Time for breakfast. All right, so I don't know if you know. A little recap from yesterday, so we did, you know. I'll just leave it as time for breakfast. <laughs> that works. You can take that. It works. I got my coffee ready. I got my breakfast skillet. That smells so good. <laughs> and we're off. Leaving, uh, leaving 35. The rain has moved in. And uh, we've got a six mile climb. So hopefully, uh, no lightning. That's a campsite below as we head out. about the seventh stream crossing we've had today, so definitely no issues with finding water. What's that? I think they are. Yeah, I'm always caught whistling on trail. Cool little outcropping. Haven't seen a lot of that. We finished our first um, leg of the climb, and now we're kind of completing this middle flat section. And then we should have another um, bigger climb, a little more steep anyway, to complete our climb for the day. Rain's been pretty steady. Um, this is about as heavy as it's been. Um, and it's been a little bit lighter, too. Very comfortable. Completely comfortable. Temperatures, when we left camp down below, were about 60 degrees. So it may warm up a little bit down there. But we're also gaining, I think, over 2,000 feet of elevation today. So we expect it to be a little cooler up top. So maybe with the daytime heating, it's still fairly comfortable up top. We'll find out. Look at that view. Isn't that awesome? All right, we're uh, actually just finishing the flat section right here. Um, and uh, my pace is quickened a little bit, a little excitement, because right up here at the, up ahead at the junction, should be the AT and it'll be my first steps ever uh, on the AT. I see the sign up ahead. Super excited. At least I think that's a sign. If it's not, that'll be the biggest letdown, but I see a white blaze. Lower Mount Camerer Trail, 4.2 miles to Campsite 35, which is where we were. Cosby Campground, 7.5 miles, which we've completed. There's a second white blaze. AT. 
Mount Camera Trail here to the left, 2.3 miles. That'll take us up to the top of this ridge and to the lookout tower, which we're hoping the weather holds and we can check that out. So, woohoo! <laughs> this is the AT, brother. First couple steps. <laughs> All right. Gotta go get my picture up here with the first blaze that I saw. Yeah! <laughs> Can you see it? Like a little kid, like a little kid. We're gonna head up this way start uh, this next section of climb so I'm gonna take a little break and enjoy this have a little snack and then uh, we'll start that next section yeah I think we found our climb at least someone uh, was nice enough to put stairs in for us Quick little update. We're hoofing it here, trying to finish this last part of the steep climb to get onto the ridge. We're kind of exposed, and there is thunder off in the distance. So we were stuck with the question of do we hustle back down, try and take shelter? But it's a pretty big line of storms that's coming in the next, say, half an hour or so, maybe 45 minutes. And the wind's already kicking up, but thunder's just off in the distance. The issue is we have to finish this climb to the top of the ridge, which there might be, you know, three quarters of a mile left, maybe half a mile. And then we have to scoot kind of down off that uh, Mount Camera ridge line two miles before we get to the intersection with, I think it's Low Gap, and the one we're taking down the, the back side. So we're going to haul buns and uh, get to the top and see if we can't get off the top before that weather hits. We were able to pull up the radar just briefly and uh, the green is close to us, the yellow's a little way off and the red is probably an hour and may miss us but it's there. So we know thunderstorms are in this line and we've already heard thunder so kind of just what you got to deal with so we just don't want to be in a bad situation so we're hoping that uh finish the climb in the next 10-15 minutes and then haul across that flat to downward section of the ridge line to the junction and duck off down that ravine as fast as we can before the rain hits um we still have a bunch of miles down that ravine, but I'll feel a lot better um, being out of the biggest threat of lightening up on the ridge. So, lovely. Stay tuned. We'll see how this uh, episode turns out. All right, we made the top of the climb. 2.3 miles back down to the trailhead split where we were. 2.1 to low gap, which is where we're going. We were hoping to take the Mount Camera Trail 0.6 miles out to the Stone Tower, but with thunder in the area, we don't want to stay on the ridge any longer than we have to, so I'll check back in later.
little thunder in the background. We're trying to hustle off this ridge, get down. We're on the decline section of the ridge, but we gotta get to the trail junction where we can veer off to the left and duck down into the ravine so we're less exposed. It's windy and rainy and cold up here. Uh, I think it's feels like probably in the 50s, but these wind gusts, your hands get real cold and you're wet. So I had to pack the umbrella away just because of how windy it was and just go to rain gear alone. So at least we're at least we're going downhill. Still on the AT, as you can see the blaze. But we've got we've got a little bit of mileage to finish up here before um, the low gap intersection. There's more thunder. Hate being up here. Got to get off the ridge. Little smoky. Still some thunder in the area. Making our way to the uh, junction. I'm walking down a river. Quick stop for lunch. Yummy. All right, we are coming up on the junction, I believe, up ahead. I see a sign and a split. So we should be uh, connecting with Low Gap Trail. And uh, for my Indiana friends, uh, we've got our own Low Gap. So it's kind of neat to uh, be taking a section of the Low Gap Trail. In Indiana, the Low Gap was my first uh, backpacking trip. And my first solo overnighter was, was on the Low Gap Trail. So, this should be, let's double check here. All right, yep. 2.1 to the right to Mount Kimmerer Trail. Cosby Knob Shelter, 0.8 miles to the left. And this is the Low Cap Trail. Um, the Cosby Campground is 2.9 miles back that way. That'd be to our car. And 2.5 miles that way to Walnut Bottom where we're camping tonight. So we're finally dropping down off the ridge and uh, <laughs> not a moment too soon. Although I haven't heard thunder in a little while. A little while so maybe the worst of it's moved off and it's just pretty steady rain. So it's pretty miserable, but uh, <laughs> It's an authentic experience. It's authentic, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm still having fun, even though it's challenging. This isn't for the faint of heart, but uh, I feel well prepared. So looking forward to some dry clothes, getting camp set up, having some hot food tonight. I don't think we're going to be able to do a fire, but uh, who knows? All right, I'm going to check back in later. Little different feel down here in the ravine.
Alright, we have arrived. Final descent down to the campground. Looks like there was one group there. Alright. Big Creek Trail. Swallow Fork Trail. Camel Gap Trail. Big Creek Trail head to the right. We just came down 2.5 miles from the AT. 5.4 from Cosby. Go this way. I think we'll go down here see if we can figure it out. This will be our water source tonight. Uh, bear lines we found here. Brent's checking out one campsite. Looks like there's one back over here. Uh, and then there's one up around the curve back over there. So I walked past all of them to get to the river. So I'll go back, see if we can find some options. Okay, after much uh, analysis and debate, we decided to come back to the very first one. Um, just some things are flooded out and uh, or there's not great spots for hammocking. So even though this one does have some standing water, there's some dry spots. I think we can make it work. So. All right, so it is raining again and um, I'm enjoying it a lot more now because uh, I'm in the hammock. I, uh, we got camp set up change clothes and uh, crawled into bed so don't want to go make dinner yet I'm a little hungry but ugh, I'm a little worn out from today so as uh, awesome as it was um, it was also kind of brutal dealing with the condition so it's so nice to just be able to lay in a hammock and listen to the rain and uh, be warm and be dry. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to stick here. I don't know how long. We'll see if the rain stops. I guess at some point I'll have to uh, get out and cook. But I'll cook right here under my tarp and... Uh, And that'll be fine, but uh, I'm going to stay in the hammock as long as I can. <laughs> um, very warm. I, I'm in dry clothes. It was, uh, I think we were just done by the end of the day. We did uh, just under 12 miles today, most of it in the rain. It's still really windy. It's supposed to be windy through the night, so hopefully that's not an issue, but... I'm just going to sit and relax and uh, listen to the rain. So I decided it's time to get out and make dinner. <laughs> All right, I will. Uh, I will check back in later. Talk to you guys later.